guess what? Next week is Christmas Eve. It is. I'm not lying. Look at your calendar. We have a plethora of Christmas Eve services coming up next week for you to come to and for you to invite your friends to. And just so you know, because it's a Sunday, we'll have one worship service on Sunday morning plus our digital, and then we've got four on-campus opportunities for our candlelight services plus a digital. So here's the rundown. We'll gather the morning of December 24th for one Sunday morning worship service at 10 a.m. in the sanctuary. We will also have our usual Sunday morning digital service premiere at 10 a.m. on YouTube or anytime thereafter. And then in the afternoon, our special Christmas Eve candlelight services begin. At 3.30 p.m., you won't want to miss our fun and touching family service in the sanctuary for all ages. Then at 5 p.m., we'll have our contemporary worship with our praise band in Maxwell Hall. At 7 o'clock p.m. is our traditional worship with our choir in the sanctuary. That service will also be live streamed as our digital Christmas Eve service on YouTube at 7 p.m. and, of course, any time thereafter. And then we finish the evening of candlelight worship at 9 o'clock p.m. with our peaceful communion service in the sanctuary. Did you miss one of those times? You can find them all listed on the front of our website right now at mumconline.com. And don't forget to offer an invitation to others who might be looking for a place to worship on Christmas Eve because everyone is welcome at Memorial. And speaking of that, as we are preparing our homes and having love show up for our own families, we have an opportunity to have love show up for people who are hungry and food insecure in our community here on December 25th at Memorial in Maxwell Hall. The Coalition for the Homeless of Nassau County is hosting their Christmas morning brunch for anyone in our area who needs a meal, and they're doing it right here at Memorial in Maxwell Hall from 9 a.m. to 11 on Christmas Day. You can help in one of four ways. First, sign up to bring one of the food items or supplies that the Coalition needs for this event. These can be brought into Maxwell Hall's kitchen on Christmas Eve when you come to worship. The link to sign up for that is at the top of the page at mumconline.com slash news. Or come and help. Sign up through that same link to come and serve and also have fellowship with the guests. Spread the word. Let those who you may know that could appreciate this meal to come and eat. Make a donation to the Coalition for the Homeless through their website or through the Memorial website to help with this event. When you give online digitally, you can select Coalition for the Homeless through our website or write a check to Memorial and put Coalition for the Homeless in the memo portion. Again, that meal is from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Christmas Day in Maxwell Hall. Friends, even when we are dealing with our own struggles in our lives, we have so much to be thankful for. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to help show people in our community who are in need that we love them and that God loves them. So consider helping with this wonderful event as a happy birthday gift to Jesus. And the ways you can help, donate, or serve are found through the link at the top of the page at mumconline.com slash news. I always look forward to New Year's Day because it's kind of like a reset. And I'm also looking forward to participating in an intentional 28-day prayer opportunity that Memorial and our Northeast District churches are all participating in. And you can do it too. In January, we'll join together in dynamite prayer with our sister United Methodist churches all across the Northeast District and even throughout the U.S. Dynamite prayer is a growing movement among United Methodist churches. This is a 28-day prayer journey through January guided by an accompanying book by Rosario Picardo and Sue Nilsson Kibbe in which we'll intentionally open ourselves to the power and leading of the Holy Spirit for our church and for our district. The book that guides this intentional prayer time is going to be available in the Parton Center and worship spaces on December 31st or from your favorite bookseller anytime. If you pick one up from the church, we ask you consider giving a $10 donation to cover the cost by putting books in the memo section of your check to memorial or selecting books when you give online. And we hope you'll enthusiastically participate in this season of prayer as we listen together with other United Methodists for the voice and the leading of God's Spirit joining in on and inviting others to come to our many Christmas Eve worship services, helping love show up in our community by way of food and friendship on Christmas morning, and participating in 28 days of intentional prayer with the Northeast District. These are just three things that you can do to live your calling through Memorial.